you know, Passive Code have reached out to me. Um, they're a company that that works in the glass coatings industry, working with different types of spandrel types. And uh, they reached out to me and they said, hey, listen, we have we have some um, learning opportunities. You know, we'd like to kind of get them to your members. I said, well, you know, we don't want to, we try to stay away from specific proprietary companies because we already have curriculum developed for spandrels and coatings and things like that in the glazing industry. But I, I, I am always open to when we have supplemental material. So any course that we have, sometimes you might plan on teaching for four hours and you're wrapped up in two hours, you'd get done in three hours. So I always think that it's good to have supplemental information. So um, working with Donna and Alice, they were able to, uh, Donna, correct me if I'm wrong, did they break down all the information they have into three three separate courses now? Is that what it is? So they broke yeah. it down into three separate courses. Um, and it, it does specifically talk proprietary about some of their things, but at the same time, a lot of this stuff is the fundamentals of spandrels and stuff like that. So. Um, we thought it'd be a good idea just to not make another separate course, but to add on to our existing uh, spandrels and coatings courses in the in the glazing. So, uh, Don, do you want to tell them? You want to give them the? I know that the email went out, but just so we have while we have them on the line, um, mm -hmm. you want to direct them to which way they can find that material. Yep, uh, I'll be sharing my screen, and I'll show you a sample. Um, way to find it. So if you're enrolled in GLC 5407, so either you see it on your enrollments page or enrollments widget, but if you're a DOT, it should be under your learning path. So just find your learning path for directors of training, then click it. Then you can type the, the course code or just type in Spanish. And you have to spell it right. <laughs> so I'm clicking the instructor version. And from the instructor version, you'll see here under course description, we added some information about a PASI code. And these are the three modules that Matt just uh, discussed. So every, every module has four segments. So we tried to combine all those segments by, by topic. Then we originally had uh, our in-house uh, course and then there's an assessment. So there are now three uh, additional online modules for, for this course. And after completing the course, or let me show you a sample of what it looks like. So once you click one of the modules, they would have this type of presentation, then uh, they have somebody narrating the course. So it, it's full narration with information, pictures, uh, and videos about um, a PASI code and all the topics there. And once you completed the course, it would give you a sample um, completion. So we would have our generic LMS completion, but you will also receive three certificates of com completion from them. So they gave us access to their certificates. So any questions about this course or any questions for Matt? Just one thing to add, um, you know, we're adding more certifications that require continuing education to um, keep your certifications up to speed. For instance, the AGMT certification requires a specific amount of continuing ed every two years. So we thought the idea of having more opportunities available, you know, if our if our glazers already went through the apprenticeship program, um, we could have them refresh on those courses, but at the same time, why not have new things available as well? So if there's new technologies that are within our industry. We thought it might be more interesting for the, the member who is already well well versed um, to do his continuing ed or or her continuing ed on uh, some some new technologies within the industry as well. So uh, just more opportunity that are available throughout the LMS. Yeah, and I forgot to add, but if you click resources under that course information, it would uh, give you additional PowerPoints and handouts from them. So they gave us uh, several resources that you can use for your classes. I want to add something. 